Welcome back to another super exciting episode of Daft Dumb Apple Farmer Talks. Today we're talking about the latest round of ripe fruit. Uh, we're going to be talking about Liberty in particular. Liberty was really one of the first disease resistant apples to actually gain any traction. So those of you that have been paying any attention know that back in the 50s and 60s, I think it was the 60s really, um, there was a bunch of work done primarily at Purdue Rutgers in Illinois, uh, crossing a native crab apple with commercially acceptable dessert apples, um, Macintosh being a primary one of them. Um, Liberty was a cross between a crab apple, ultimately between a crab apple and Macaon, which is a really nice apple from the East Coast. Um, it has some of Macaon's characteristics, but it's tartar. Liberty is a relatively tart apple. Um, as you can see, given the right conditions, it sizes well. Uh, the tree itself is gained a lot of traction for organic production because it is immune to the, or at least very, very resistant, with one gene of resistance for apple scab, which is the biggest disease that we face, you know, pretty much anywhere east of the Rockies. You can see here Plum Cuculeo, which is a it's a it's a really you know you can see this uh, little beetle looking insect um, it 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 stings into right about there and then it just fans out makes kind of a fan shape um, pattern it, it cuts it actually cuts a groove right back in here and then that always scars over it puts an egg in there and then if that egg develops into a larva then it, it uses the fruit as its food source and eventually it'll pop out of the generally the calyx end I think of the of the uh, apple and if if it was here we're gonna see it in the middle of the fruit and we see it's not there so that egg just didn't make it it just did not make it yeah you can see I mean it didn't even develop in there so it it uh, it something happened maybe the skin killed it off or who knows what but something happened and it didn't make it this is the worst direct feeding insect for organic producers east of the Rockies west of the Rockies they don't really have this insect they just have life easy out there you know the California they just surf all day and out there in Washington they just drink those nice white wines all that stuff um, we got to actually work for a living around here and one of the things that makes that living hard especially if you're an organic producer scab apple scab is a big problem and they don't have that so much in the arid west uh, but with liberty apple we've sort of solved that but plum cuculeo as an insect is a very hard critter to kill with organic controls so we're still working on that there were some early indications that we could use trapping and stuff for that and that hasn't really panned out to much of anything so most organic growers that i know um, are combating this mostly reducing the host plants like any plums or soft fruit wild grown around you and uh, number two using something like rotenone uh, to kill them when they get on there but rotenone again it's a broad spectrum insecticide not the best so Liberty the apple as you can see good size apple good color um, makes an outstanding pie very crunchy uh, more crunchy than a Macaon for sure, uh, tartar than a Macaon for sure, um, and holds up very well in a pie. Eats really good, but it's tart. You know, this is a, you can hear the crunch. Nice white flesh, really delivers a good healthy dose of apple flavor. Um, fairly tart, like I keep saying. Mm -hmm. 